The first thing that we want to do is we want to begin with some boiling water to uh, sort of make a Creole Kubion, if you will, or court bouillon. And what we're going to do is use one onion that we're going to quarter right inside the water. We're going to add the juice and two lemons. So we squeeze the juice in the water and then add the lemons to it. Now, we have about eight tablespoons of salt that we want to really salt the water, four bay leaves, then this is gonna be the heat. This is two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. And that's really what's gonna really be the spice, as well as, I have two tablespoons of Creole seasoning or essence, but I'm gonna save one back so that I can season the shrimp in the bowl. I have about one and a quarter pounds of Gulf shrimp. These are about 16, 20 count. You can get them smaller, larger. Now, here's the key. It comes in two forms. It comes liquid or it comes in a seasoning form. And this is crab boil. This is a New Orleans crab boil. Inside the little sack, you can see it has lots of mustard seed and coriander and crushed bay leaf and lots of chili peppers. So you wanna keep it in the sack and we're gonna add that. Now you wanna bring this up to a boil and then let that simmer for about 10 minutes, really, really extracting the flavors and the spices inside of the water. And this is what I have right here. Now, when we're ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our shrimp right to that Creole Cubion, if you will. Also to that, I like to split a head of garlic and add the garlic in there as well. And uh, we'll do that real fast. Let all of that get flavors going and then you wanna do that before you add your shrimp. So there's the garlic and our shrimp are right here. Now here's the thing about shrimp. They really cook very, very fast. As you can see here, they're already halfway cooked but they're getting all the flavor of that Creole Cubion or caught bouillon. And then what we're gonna do is once the shrimp are cooked, we're gonna take them out and let them begin to cool. Now, onto the remoulade. There's a couple of different types of remoulade. This is a very New Orleans style remoulade because uh, it, has, um, it has a bit of ketchup uh, and mayonnaise and uh, the classic one being with celery root. But watch how easy this is. You're gonna get a little food processor, and what we're gonna do is start with about two tablespoons of ketchup. And we are gonna use Creole mustard, which is a whole grain mustard. If you can't get Creole mustard, you can use like a pomery mustard. We have uh, one and a half teaspoons of garlic in here. Um, one tablespoon of tomato paste. About one teaspoon of hot sauce, ah, three teaspoons of paprika. That's what's really gonna give it sort of the red color. And then what we're gonna do is go in with some homemade mayonnaise or a good quality store-bought mayonnaise if you don't wanna make the homemade mayonnaise. And now comes the fun part where we're gonna add two tablespoons of celery. We're gonna add a half a cup of scallions or green onions, two tablespoons of fresh parsley. And now we're gonna have about a half a teaspoon of salt, about a quarter or so teaspoon of black pepper. So it's pretty much just adding all of the ingredients together and then blending them. And you'll see that you're gonna get this wonderful orange color, which is the remoulade. Great for any cold seafood um, it's, or shellfish. Absolutely fantastic. Now, what's great about it in an airtight container, you can keep it in the refrigerator for a couple of days. When you have shrimp, great on crab. I serve it with oysters. And let me show you this great salad real quick. There's our shrimp that have been out of the, the, uh, the Creole Cubion or caught bouillon. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take most of the remoulade we're gonna save some for the greens. We're gonna take most of the remoulade and we're gonna to begin to just toss the shrimp in the remoulade and letting that flavor just kind of go and meld all through 
the shrimp. Now, what we're going to do is take a ripe avocado. I kind of like this one better. It's a little riper. We're going to cut the avocado in half, and we'll check out the surprise inside. Oh, that's perfect. Now, the easiest way to do this is we're going to just use a spoon, and we're just going to go around and just scoop out the whole half of the avocado. Okay, now we're ready to put this together. I have a delicious mixture here from the farm of what's called a spring mix. It has a little bit of uh, frise, it has green oak, it has red oak lettuce, it has a little bit of mosh. So what we wanna do is we wanna sort of just dress this a little bit, very lightly, with the rest of our remoulade. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take that and toss it real lightly. You don't really wanna sort of beat up the greens. We're just gonna take this now and set it. Look at how great that looks, right on our plate like that. Now, to the greens, we're gonna take a little bit of these cherry teardrop tomatoes. We're gonna, just a tiny bit of olive oil and a little salt and pepper. And we're just gonna lightly just toss these and just kind of place them around. I love these little sweet tomatoes like this. It's just delicious. Then we're gonna take our avocado half right in the center, press down on the greens, and then our shrimp remoulade to just sort of fill right inside. Delicious. Look at that, huh? Talk about a New Orleans classic right there. It's a New Orleans shrimp remoulade and avocado salad. It's one of my favorites, and I hope you enjoy it.